How's it going everyone? Scary Cat Vasquez back at it with another video for you guys and I am here editing this video and just looking back at all the great amazing people I got to meet over at Spook Show and not that many technical difficulties this time. I know last time there was a lot, a lot of interviews that I did did not get posted and again I apologize for that guys like I don't know what was going on but I was new and I'm sorry I'm still learning to this day but I'm I'm a little bit more knowledgeable than last time anyways so with that being said everyone that I've interviewed is on this video I'm gonna be leaving links to their Instagrams a lot of them are on Instagram a lot of them mostly work on Instagram leaving other links to their websites and stuff like that I want you guys you viewers to check them out if they if you see something you like on there to them and just let them know who sent you just so they know that there's someone out there supporting them you know because that's what this haunt community Halloween community is all about we're just all about supporting each other okay and I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, let me just show you some cool stuff I got real quick though these guys right here this is the shirt I'm wearing right now and it's pretty cool it's vote for fan in the opera I thought it was really cool it's like a vintage one and um, it's like 80s like spin on it and everything like that it was so cool then I got a like a spray painted vinyl thing to put on my wall I haven't put it up yet because I'm looking for the proper spot and it is of the Rocky Horror Lips and I love this like outline little framework that's around it as well too oh my god I when I saw it I was like you know what I need I need to have this in my life I need this so bad Ooh. And it was it was amazing. I'll be leaving links to where I got them at too in the description. It was they're just it's a really good thing. I'm, I love Rocky Horror so much. You know what I mean? It's like Rocky Horror and Family Opera, two main musicals that I've like grew up with basically. And and to have like little like momentums of them it was so cool. Oh my god. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. That's that's my haul right there. You know, I didn't really spend too much uh, because I'm broke. But uh, whatever I did, whatever I could spend, I spent. And, um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to post this right now. So I hope you guys enjoy it, okay? So guys, I am here with the very first person I'm going to talk to. We saw him from the last spook show, Casey from Twigs Morgue. How's everything going, man? Uh, pretty good so pretty far. Pretty good, pretty yeah. good. I understand that you were uh, attended Midsummer Scream. You didn't vent there? Right? No, I just attended. Yeah. Awesome. How was it for you? How did you like it? It was pretty fun. Yeah. Nice, like nice. Um, any haunts that you're looking forward to this haunt season, dude? Um, Universal Studios. Nice. I want to do that one. Yeah, that's really good, dude. That's and really all good. the rest. All the rest yeah. of them? Yeah. Nice, fun. nice. Do you scare easy, man? Uh, not real easy. Not real right now. No. <laughs> I feel, I feel. I'm loving the dead body that you... This guy right here. I'm like horrible with this shit. You actually have him in a chair now and everything like that. That's so cool yeah. right there. He's usually in the hearse. But... Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. You own a hearse too. And I believe you rent it out or something on your Instagram? Yeah, I do that. Nice, dude. Nice. I'm so... That's so cool. Do you do like prom nights or stuff like that? Or just like... Just whatever. Just whatever they need yeah. it for? Yeah. That's so cool, dude. All right, man. Well, thank you for talking to me, man. Have a good one. So I'm here with Dave, and what's the company you're representing today, man? Well, here I'm promoting Dr. Zomba's Ghost Show of Terror. It's a campy horror comedy revival of the show they used to put on in the 1950s called A Spook Show. We did it this summer. We won Midsummer Scream Screamiest Award and a bunch of other awards. We sold out, so we're bringing it back this Halloween season. Awesome, awesome. What's something that you can tell uh, the crowd out there watching this about this show that like really hype it up well, what's something you can promise them it's guaranteed to put a smile on your face and send a shiver down your spine there we go there we go and i remember you're talking about like something about like complete darkness what was this yeah at the climax of every spook show there is a sequence where the audience is in total darkness surrounded by supernatural phenomena that they can okay. see hear and feel and feel that is that's the key word right there, Phil. That's right. <laughs> Any waivers need to be signed or anything like that? Or? You do have to sign a waiver before there the start of the go. show that the ghost show scares you to death. We are not legally <laughs> responsible. That's the greatest, the greatest promo right there, man. Thank you so much. Where can they find out more information about you guys? Just go to Eventbrite and search for Dr. Zamba. You can find out more info about the show and get tickets. Definitely, definitely. And he's all the social medias, Instagram and stuff like that? We're on Instagram, and you can also find us on Facebook. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much, Dave, for talking to us. My pleasure. All right. So I'm here today with West Coast Coffins. These guys, this is their first ever convention that they're doing. And how, how's it going, guys? How's the channel coming? Uh, it's going pretty good. A lot of people came straight to our booth, so it's nice. pretty cool to see. Yeah, and you, as you were telling me earlier, everything's handmade. Yep, everything is done by hand. Awesome. And look at these, all like, real wood. Real wood, everything. 
record players too as well. That, that's like the first time I've ever seen a coffin record player. Yeah, I've never seen um, one. <laughs> Is this like your creation? Like yeah, something you came I, up uh, with? Yeah, I came up with that myself. Nice. Uh, just messing around. And then messing eventually around. came up with it. Have you been doing like a wood shop before and everything like that? Oh or yeah, like... I've been uh, doing woodwork for a long time. Nice, dude. But uh, we eventually got into coffins. Awesome, awesome. So like what's like the longest it's taken you to make like a coffin like design? Um. Our tables, we put a lot of detail in, so it does take okay. us longer on our tables, maybe a month-ish. Yeah, awesome, depends awesome. how many orders we have. There we go, there we go. Where's like some places we can find you on social media, man? Uh, West Coast Coffins on Instagram. Instagram. Uh, we have a web, um, no website yet, but we're working on it. Definitely. And we also sell out of a store called Stardust Alley in Upland. Shit, okay, So our cool. products are in there, too. So you can go in there and make your custom orders if you'd like. For this stuff, she uh, she'll take care of you out there too. There we go, guys. So make sure you check them out. You just moving into a new place and you want it to look dead as you. Boom! This is gonna be the place to go right here. West yeah. Coast Chop Coffins. There we go. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. All right, thank you, thank you guys. One. No problem. Thank you. I'm here with Manuel and what was your name again? Sophia. Sophia, and these are two rats in love. Adorable ass name for <laughs> adorable ass company. Look at all these little taxidermy stuff right here, except for this little. This little fucker, where is he? That potato bug. That potato bug. <laughs> that, potato bug. that thing, when we first that walked by, it scared the crap out of me. Oh, yeah, can you grab it? Yeah. There we go. Let's get a good close up of that. That thing is nasty. You ever heard them scream when they die and you stuff know, like everyone that? Everyone keeps saying, yeah, everyone was saying that. Yeah, so like that's today. nasty right there, man. It's a traumatizing noise. Uh -huh. And they were saying the only way to kill them is to burn them. You yeah. To, yeah. To burn them alive. That's like some Ouija board shit uh -huh. right there, dude. <laughs> How long have you guys been doing this for? Um, about three years now. Going on three years. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Three years. Nice. Yeah, so you guys have like your shop, you work from home. Pretty much from home. home. Awesome. Yeah, so the house is just filled with dead animals. I'm it saying. really is. Our freezer is filled with dead things and uh -huh. maybe one box of popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that's it. We never have food. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we never have food in there. It's always just uh, dead things. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So like, um, how long, what's like the longest project you've had to do so far working with like an animal, like getting it prepped up and everything like that? Um. I would say probably the coyote skulls because you got to get the brains out. You got to get all the meat off of them. Yeah, yeah pretty large. Yeah, it's yeah. A, definitely a process, especially if you don't have uh, um, beetles. Uh -huh. There's a certain type of beetles that will like actually eat it, pick it clean for you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't use those just because we're in a two-bedroom yeah. tiny apartment, and you mm -hmm. know it's, it's we're terrified it's of them a, getting out. Yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah, a bit yeah. So we do it a little different. Yeah, oh, that's good. Well, hey, whatever you can do to do it. Uh -huh. That's yeah. so cool. Where, where can some people find you at? Um, our Instagram, Two Rats mm -hmm. in Love. Two Rats yeah, in Love? Yeah, that's the only one. And then we have a Facebook, Facebook too. Facebook, Two Rats okay, in Love. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just that? Uh -huh. Definitely. Awesome, awesome. Well, random question. I, I like to ask this to like, all the, like, the taxidermy companies. What's like the weirdest thing you've worked on? Like weirdest animal like, you've like picked up? And other then, like, than the uh, potato bugs? Yeah, other than, other than the, the potato, potato bugs. bugs. <laughs> um, we have a, the, the coyote? Is it, no, the goat penis. The oh, goat yeah, penis. We have a goat penis. They have goat penis, guys. Yep, if you're in the goat. market. If you're in the market <laughs> for a If you're a goat ever penis. looking for a good fashion goat penis. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right there. It's, that's probably the weirdest song. Huh? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Have you ever like had like um something like some of this stuff spill or anything like that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. De definitely. Oh, I'm actually God. just driving up here today, uh, uh, yeah. I hit the brakes a little too hard in the box that was carrying all of the wets tipped over oh luckily luckily it stopped okay, but okay. I can only imagine if all those came out oh, it would have been it would have been very messy uh, oh my god <laughs> a, a wet preserved uh, poisonous frog uh -huh. and then the alcohol had spilt on my hand and I wasn't wearing gloves it was an accident and yeah. I was itchy it was she definitely oh, it was a scrub. mess yeah, yeah you definitely <laughs> I was in there to get that off. <laughs> so any young taxidermists out there be yeah, careful be cautious very cautious very cautious Gloves, Gloves, you know, safety, yeah, yeah. Safety all that equipment, good stuff. All that good stuff. But hey, guys, thank you so much for talking to me, and like, no good luck with everything. Is there any other places we're gonna find you at Salem's Market? All the other stuff. Uh, um, we're gonna do the next spook show here. Okay. Uh, we'll be doing spook show again, and then we actually teach classes at uh, an oddity shop in LA. Really? Uh, Memento, yeah, Memento Mori, Mori LA. Uh -huh. What are you guys? Are you guys teaching just how to taxidermy? Yeah, yeah. basically from start to finish. So you'll okay. walk out with a finished product. Dress really? Black. Yeah, we do wet preserve classes as well, so the jarred, okay. you know. And for people interested in that, they can just find that information on your Instagram? On our Instagram, Instagram. Yep. yeah. Okay, Every time guys. we have a class, we post all the info for it. Yeah, we'll post nice, everything. Nice, nice. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Well, I'll be definitely attending that because right, yeah. I find enough dead rats already in yeah, the street, there so there we go. See, but the beauty of the class is we provide everything for you. Oh, look at that. I don't got to bring anything. No. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a good day. Yeah, thank you. So I'm here today with Hillary from Hillary's Vanity, and if you look at her get up, this is like the kind of stuff you can find at her store. Where is your store located at? 
Burbank, California. Burbank, awesome, awesome. So how long have you been running in your store for? Um, the store has been open uh, for a few months now mm -hmm. and my clothing line has been around for 10 years. Nice. And the, you can also see my clothing if you can't get to the Burbank area. Mm -hmm. You can also see it online at www.hillarysvanity.com. Awesome. And also check us out on all the social medias as well. Okay. Definitely, that's cool. Any other places you plan on attending this year? Um, we go to every show. Um, we do uh, sell at Spook Show, uh, mm -hmm. but we are not here today because uh, we had to have the store open and there wasn't enough people. Yeah. But um, we're having a good time just hanging out and awesome. we look forward to seeing all of you at the store in Burbank. There we go. So make sure you guys check them out, all right? Thank you. And thank you. All right, so we're taking a little break right now because it is too damn hot and we just need to chillax and enjoy our rad coffee right now. How you liking yours right now? What did you get? The horchata. Horchata. That's nice right there. That's, I tasted a little bit of it. That, that shit was good. Really good. I got the cookies and scream. It's already halfway gone, but that thing is num 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 good. You know what I mean? So I'm here today with Rob and Jessica from Monster Posse. Hi. You guys seen them before with all their crazy little stickers and pins and pop sockets. I didn't know you guys had pop sockets. That's crazy. Yeah. Phone stands. It's new. Phone and stands. Yeah, phone stands. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Our pop sockets will <laughs> shut us down again. Oh shit! I hope not. Damn. Anyway, so how are you guys been doing today? Everything's oh, going awesome. pretty good. Great. Show's always awesome. Yeah, I, I've seen you guys booth. Every time I turn around, it's busy, and then it stops, and then it's busy again. It's just like yeah. you guys are like crazy, yeah. really selling. That's awesome. That's awesome. How long have you guys been in business for? One year. Yeah, about one a year. year. Now. And yeah. you guys are getting all this popularity right yeah. here. That's awesome. What's one thing that kind of gets you guys like inspiration and everything like that? Like, like I understand like you know the horror genre. What, what, how do you get your like little twist of it as well? Like, because I've noticed you have you like. You know, we just have like a lot of really spooky, creative mm -hmm. friends, and they're all. We're friends with a lot of the vendors here, and nice. we just all kind of get together and bounce stuff off of each other. And nice. at shows, we'll talk and stuff like a that. A little brainstorm session. Yeah, and talking That's to awesome. different people that are coming up and meeting us. That's why we love vending and meeting people. Awesome. Because they'll be like, oh, you should do this. And then it'll start getting us to think about, oh, how could we do mm -hmm. that? But like twist it our style, you know? That's good. That's good right there. I've noticed you guys have like little air fresheners. Um, Those are new, yeah. <laughs> Those are brand new. Yeah. What are some of the senses you can tell us real quick? Okay, so Beetlejuice is pumpkin spice. Uh -huh. um, the Little Mermaid creature one is uh -huh. gonna be sea breeze. There we go. Um, for Pennywise, we have cotton candy. Mm -hmm. For the Sailor Moon, we have peach and I have that oh, the yeah. Jessica Rabbit one's lavender. Okay, definitely, definitely. That's gonna be awesome right there. So where where can we find you at? Where like the viewers can find you? Where can they find you on? Oh, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, Instagram? Instagram's our stuff. There yeah. we go. That's good. And then Any... we sell on Etsy. Etsy too. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Where where are other places you guys gonna be attending? Salem's Market. Salem's Market for sure. We're mm -hmm. doing Decon. We're doing the Pin and Patch Expo in Santa Ana. Oh sure. Uh, um, 40 year anniversary show Pasadena. Really? And okay. We'll be at dope. LA Awesome, so glad to hear that. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time. So rad, and I hope to see you guys at Salem's Market, okay? So I'm here with Emily from the lovely art company of Emorbid. And if you can get a glimpse of everything that's behind us, this is some really good art. I'm really loving that cat thing. It's adorable and creepy at the same time. Emily, like, how do you come up with your, like, Insp inspiration and everything like that well I just I love everything creepy I nice. love everything you know but but with a classic feel mm -hmm. um, I make things that I would buy there basically. we go that's a good way to look at it and I'm yes. seeing some like other stuff too like sages and rocks and crystals yeah. anything you guys want to talk about it's that all about? about cleansing it's all about good vibes it's okay. all about uh, good energy and I, I be we believe that people give off bad energy so mm -hmm. you have to cleanse yourself of that so amen to that you know what I mean we're trying to help people also cleanse spiritually that's good that's really good what can you say like what's like some good tips for like a beginner cleanser i guess you would say like what would you start uh, the, off with the sage is always a good starter sage. but uh palo santo would be your best bet what is palo santo is it the palo santo right here yeah that's what is palo, palo, palo santo how, how does that that's translate like in english wood it's, okay it's, you know it's blessed so it's, it has a lot of cleansing properties there we go that's awesome right there um how long have you been doing this company for Honestly, maybe a year and a half. Hey, that's good. Yep. You've been doing a lot of conventions and stuff like that? No, not big stuff, just small okay. stuff. Oh, hey, you guys start yeah. somewhere. That's really good, though. I can see you guys being at Midsummer Scream one day, thank though. You. Like, yeah, honestly. That's, that's my goal. There we go. That's, that's, a, always, goal. that's a good goal to have right there. But thank you so much, Emily. Thank you. No problem, no problem. So I'm here with this Michael Myers lookalike dude, and it's like, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is he taking off his mask? This is not part of the movie. Oh shit, it's Mr. Death Breath. Look at this, guys. Here with my wonderful friend, Mr. Death Breath. Yo, dude, how you doing today? You up on this gear? 
in this temperature. How are you feeling right now? It might be a mistake, but it'll be fun because it, you know, it's a chance to have fun on Halloween. Yeah. But just, dude, I was so pumped coming down here. I don't know, man. I'm just so pumped. Yeah, you're all the way from Palm Springs and everything like that, man. That oh is crazy. That is some yeah. dedication, guys. Halloween Club, sponsor this guy, guys. Come on. But Mr. Jeff Best, tell us what's going on with your channel. Let us know what's, what's the big scoop. I have a spoiler free Mandy review. Uh -huh. Um, link in bio guys check it out and uh, just keep an eye on my channel like he popping up videos This dude posts up almost daily uh, if anything weekly. He's like really active Unlike my ass, but like he's he's perfect if you want like a spoiler free Review this is the guy to go to oh my god. I need a little shave right here You think you can touch me up right there dog? Thank you. Thank you <laughs> So I'm here with Lance from Hellflower soap company soap and what was that sir? Soap company soap company. I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm terrible at reading good, good there job, we man. go <laughs> So what's something you can tell us about your products real quick, man? Um, basics of them. They're all, they're all handmade. Handmade. Um, high quality ingredients, no mm -hmm. detergents, no preservatives, anything like that. Uh, that's really good. High quality oils. They're, they're made in our home. Oh, that's so, good. I mean, literally when we say homemade, they are homemade. Literally like um, in your living room and shit. Uh, <laughs> the kitchen. Kitchen, I'm sorry. No, no, yeah, they haven't made it to the living room yet, but they're <laughs> in the kitchen. Um, you know, we, just, we, we try to make a good product mm -hmm. um, and we hope people enjoy it. We've got a lot of repeat customers that come back. Yeah. Uh, we we listen to people. We take feedback, mm -hmm. criticism, whatever it is, and you know we try to make a better product for the people that we're we're serving. Yeah. Essentially, so that's really good, right there. You know. Yeah. That's a really good business yeah. line, and right it, there, man. And it, you know, it, it's primarily my wife. Um, she's Hello. she's the mastermind behind all of this. Awesome. Uh, Comes know, up with it, all the designs too, because yeah, I noticed all, you guys have some pretty her. crazy looking designs. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. Know, I, I get to participate in some naming and some <laughs> other things like that, and then I get to carry all the heavy stuff. Awesome. Uh, What's like yeah. your favorite like soap so far? My favorite soap so far, you know, I mean, to go way back is the Kilburn. Uh, Kilburn. It's a it's a really great scent. Bergamot and mm -hmm. some other scents behind that. Um, BDSM. Um, oh, <laughs> there we and, go. Yeah, you know, they, they all the soaps have like nice little catchy names. So catchy like names. That. It's a uh, it's a charcoal activated charcoal based soap nice. with uh, loofah in it. Uh, oh, fantastic okay. soap that smells of uh, you know cedar and musk and stuff like that um, and you know she's constantly come up with new scents mm -hmm. and new oh, new you know looks to things like you know we have, have this one here the hung man, uh, hung man. <laughs> fantastic soap everybody said you need soap on a rope there yeah, you that's go. true yeah soap on the rope oh so, yeah. caught it right there thanks because and of the proof rope of the, you know <laughs> proof of the rope there we go so, yeah, that's awesome rope. that's awesome where can people find you at uh, Instagram Instagram uh, Hellflower Soap Company or awesome. at Hellflower Soap Company, mm -hmm. uh, Etsy shop at Hellflower Soap Company, um, Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, all, all, awesome, all the same awesome. handle. Uh, most active on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's it. That's so, it. Yeah, I understand that's that's that you guys are like uh, messing around with the CBD as well too. We, like, we are. is that like something new that you guys just started, or you've been it's, doing that for a while? It's pretty new. Uh, a few mm -hmm. months. Um, we. We've been looking into it for quite a while, mm -hmm. and we're really skeptical about it. You know, I feel you. Um, from somebody that doesn't come from a cannabis using side of it, mm -hmm. you know, we were like, "Oh, it's snake oil, blah blah blah." Okay. But uh, a friend talked me into trying it on my knees. I have really bad arthritic knees. Mm -hmm. Tried it on my knees, and from the get, I was impressed with the way it worked. There we um, go. So we we got in contact with a company and started buying crystal isolates from them. Okay. And she makes a soap and a scrub. Um, and we actually don't make the salve that we sell. We wholesale. Oh, okay. It's it's their product. Uh, they they make it the exact same way that she would have made it. Mm -hmm. and, and and we can't turn around and sell it for as cheap as we can sell theirs. Yeah. It, it would cost us more to make it. So I mean, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna go out there and try to rape people for money. I feel you. Know? you I feel um, you. That's a good thing, though. So. You know, it's, it's a fantastic product. Um, mm -hmm. Really, really starting to believe in it. That's um, good. You know, Knees feeling all better and everything uh, like that? You know, they, they have their days, but, yeah. you know, it's, 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 helping. it's a huge difference between eating ibuprofen 800s like candy. Yeah. You know, um, you know I put it on maybe a couple times a week now. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when they're doing good, if, if I'm really, really active and my knees are acting up, I... I put it on every day, and mm -hmm. it, it keeps the, the swelling down, all the inflammation, everything else. The pain is manageable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not going to lie to people. It, you know, uh, not pain free, but mm -hmm. tolerable. Uh, that's uh, which good, is though. A huge thing. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it definitely is a, a great thing for pain management. Mm -hmm. um, we have a a brother that 
uses it, and he kind of just rubs down with it after jujitsu and stuff like that. And yeah, it really helps with the, you know that muscle soreness, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, everybody uses it for something a little different, but uh, it's a it's a fantastic product. And even if you're not buying the stuff that we make and sell, look into it. It's, yeah, it's, it's worth looking into. That is true. That is true. Well, hey, sir, thank you so much for talking yeah, to us and no everything problem. like that. All right. Well, is there any other places that we're gonna find you at, like Salem's Market or anything like um, that? Yeah, we're coming up. We're going. We're Salem's Market, um, Sinister Point. Carrie's gonna be posted up at Sinister Point the whole time wow. out there. Uh, Comic Con LA. Okay. Um, what else we got coming up? Oh, she walked away. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna be everywhere. Um, That's so cool. You know, uh, the Oddities Flea Market in mm-hmm. in late November. Um, I, I I don't even know. We're we're at so many Just places everywhere. right now. We're gonna be everywhere. <laughs> Look at her Instagram. She's posting up where she's at all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, that's cool. And, that's and cool. Come by and see us. Check us out. Definitely, you know, we'll do. We'll do, man. Pick it up, smell it, try it out. Yeah, try it out, definitely, man. Thank you so much, dude. Have thank a good you. one. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I gotta now edit all this. I'm gonna be up late, and I got school tomorrow, but it's all worth it because I know that this is gonna be going to some good viewers, going to some really good supportive people. Like I said, guys, support these businesses. Support small businesses. Support, especially of them that are doing like Halloween haunt related stuff. You know what I mean? Horror businesses because you know we all got to stick together in this um guys thank you so much thank you halloween club for making such a wonderful event for us to make memories and create friendships i was thinking about it i i almost never met jonathan aka mr death breath you know i almost never met him i was thinking about it and i'm really glad that i did i always will thank you know God and as well as Halloween Club because our paths almost never 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 crossed it's like I could have interviewed someone else and he could have walked right by me or they could have said no I don't want to be on inter- on YouTube right now you know what I mean I don't want to be interviewed and then you know our paths never would have met and he's such a good friend of mine you know we're always messaging each other throwing ideas and stuff like that we're gonna be working a lot more together and I'm just really happy to have him in my life. I, I and this is a, this is the best shout out I could ever give to someone. Guys, check him out. You know he's a really hardworking human being. He's really passionate and really caring. You know what I mean? So if you're gonna follow someone out of this, if you're gonna subscribe to any channel tonight, let it be Mr. Deathbreath. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you guys, I gotta edit this and I gotta try to get some sleep. Stay tuned for my 17th door video that will be coming out soon as well as a new episode of haunt talks so stay tuned for that guys like and subscribe if you haven't um hit that notification bell so you can get notified about all that stuff okay you guys haunt season is upon us let us make this a good one okay have a good night